Alright guys, welcome back to another video. We have a ton of stuff to get into guys, so make sure you watch to the end of the vid to get all this juicy information and game updates that are coming into the game this month. Make sure you, everybody does like and subscribe to the channel. We are on our way to 900 subscribers, believe it or not. Thank you all for your support. Hope everybody's having a great day, and guys, let's get into this. So, starting off guys, Season 6 starts March 16th. The season theme still is to be determined. Uh, no one knows yet. Epic has really not given us a lot of hints at the moment. They might give us more hints down the line. We shall see. Right now, everything is still pretty vague. We don't know what the next season's gonna be. Uh, I've heard a ton of theories, though, and I'll go over a couple of those quick theories, one of which is maybe a DC theme. This was speculated by C-Man himself, Cody. He's, he's a friend of ours. He plays on the channel. He was thinking maybe it's a DC theme since we had a season four Marvel theme. It's possible. We've had DC collaborations in the past. I could totally understand how it could be a DC theme. More on DC, though, later. A huge announcement coming later in the video. So season six, we don't know all the specifics yet. However, it's going to be huge, I'm sure. I know the, that the map is gonna change like any other season done, new weapons, new skins, the whole shebang. So that's going to be super exciting. And we're closing in on it, guys. We're in like the like last three weeks of season five, which is crazy to think about. Speaking of season five, the season five event should be coming to the game very soon. So we do have a little bit more information about this. We know it is going to involve the zero point since the name of the season literally has something to do with the zero point. So we know it's going to have something to do with the zero point. This is my theory, guys. I'm guessing the zero point is going to explode and drastically change the map. Keep in mind the last time the zero point exploded was during season X and it completely changed the map. You can think of the zero point almost as like a resetter for the Fortnite map. Like once it explodes or once something happens, it like redoes the Fortnite map. So, with that being said, is it plausible to think that we might see a chapter 3 after this season? It's a theory, guys. I personally don't think we're going to see a chapter 3 after this season. Yes, I know that some of the evidence points towards that. Hold on, there's a guy who's making me nervous in here. I'm going to go kill him real quickly. Where is this guy? Come out. Oh, yeah, he's up there. He's up there. He's up there. Okay, that's a good move. That's a good move. No! He got me. I think it will be chapter 2, season 6. I don't think we'll see chapter 3 till a while. It would be cut really weirdly short to have just chapter 2 just end with chapter 2, season 5. So I think it's going to move on to chapter 2, season 6. So with chapter 2, season 6, what is it going to bring to the game? Again, a lot of theories on this one, but I have some theories for you guys. So we've heard a lot about weapons with some sort of modifications or attachments coming to the game. Similar like Apex Legends, if you guys haven't played Apex Legends, it's a battle royale game. And basically, you collect guns on the map and then find different attachments for them. Fortnite has been teasing something similar to this for a while now. I think since actually season 4 we've seen leaks of this. So, it is very possible that we are to see new modifications to guns. So, a modification, I'm just making one off the top of my head, but okay. We have a tactical shotgun here. Maybe once you fire once, another shot comes out, like a double shot tactical shotgun. That would be deadly. So, modifications would definitely change the game and how it's played, and it would throw some variety into the game as well. I think it's a great idea, I hope it comes into Season 6. My second theory, I did a video about this a while ago, some of you may remember it. I think there's a car with a minigun coming attached to it, or some sort of turret, or something like that. I think there's a car or truck coming to the Fortnite with a minigun slash turret on top of it. So you have one driver and one gunner and maybe another passenger. And the leaks point towards this too, guys. We have seen some sort of new vehicle that has a turret on it, which is gonna make the game a lot more interesting. And I said this in a live stream, I'm gonna say it again on video. The problem I have with this, people throw a fit about planes being in the game. Personally, I really like planes, but uh, people throw a fit about planes being in the game and how overpowered they are. They can be overpowered sometimes, I'll agree with you guys there. However, what's going to be the difference between this car and this, the planes? One can fly, obviously, and one can't, but still, you have a turret that's really, really going to be OP. So, unless they nerf the turret in some way, it's going to be interesting to see, guys. It really is. That's my only concern with it. I think it's still a pretty good idea. They need to bring back some sort of air mobility back to the game. We don't have helicopters, we don't have planes. It's like, come on, what happened? We need we need air mobility back in the game. We need some sort of air mobility. I don't care what it is, but put, bring us back something, you know? What are you doing? Goodbye. Also, something I'm just remembering as important to mention. This hidden bunker on the map, uh, it's right here. It's been on the map for ages, and nothing has happened to it. So, could we see it something with the event? Yes, we could. It's very possible. Holy, I'm getting double-teamed hard there. Dude, what are you doing? 
No, I got it again. Two times one video, let's go. Let's see if we can make it three. Next thing on my list is a comic book collaboration coming with DC and Fortnite. It's going to be very interesting, and I don't know really how the whole system works. But basically, DC and Fortnite are doing a comic book collaboration. So DC is going to be releasing comic books out that you can purchase. You purchase these comic books, and some of them will give you special in-game Fortnite stuff. For example, a special Batman skin and a special Harley Quinn skin and some other items as well. So, comic books I heard were going to cost $5, which isn't bad. However, I don't know how rare the comics the comic books are going to be and how you buy them so that's going to be interesting but definitely to keep on the lookout for that because you know if you guys are interested in some limited time skins that would be huge and it could point to dc being the next season it could you know i'm not i'm not 100 sure but you know you never know another season collaboration that i would love to see is a Star Wars one. If I would love to see a Star Wars themed season. That would be awesome. Some new skins are coming into the game. We have Laser Beam coming into the game. And as you guys know, we just had the fresh bundle come out as well. But Laser Beam is coming into the game. Another icon. It'll be awesome. Super excited to hear that. And a gold female version of Midas, which is very interesting. Because we all we we know that Midas survived his shark attack. But did he have a wife or girlfriend? I guess he did. Or maybe it's her sister. Who knows? There, it's got to be some correlation between the two. Maybe they have the Midas guy and girl going to like take over the world, the world in the next season or something. You never know. Like if they're bringing these characters back that are so popular. And this also might point to you know how the Fox Clan said that an old enemy is coming back. Maybe it's Midas and his sister or relative or whoever. That would be insane if the Midas twins are coming back. That's a theory for you guys. This weird tweet came out and I wanted to show you guys. It's the little leak that popped up. Basically what the tweet is saying is that there's some sort of code that's been added into the game where there's going to be some sort of like bots controlling vehicles. That would be really cool, but I'm thinking overpowered. Like if we have bots start to drive cars, that would be that would be interesting. I'm wondering if it means the bots in game, like the bots you fight, or does it mean NPCs? Like it could be a multiple amount of things. Like can you go buy stuff from the people driving cars? I don't really know how it's gonna work. Um, they didn't give us a lot of insight, obviously, since it's just a leak. But just to throw that out there, that did come out. Guys, for this week, the Rapid Fire SMG is back in game. If you upgraded anything past uh, blue, I would say, it becomes pretty unstoppable. And the reason I said that is the bullets can actually go through people's builds when they're spamming the build button. So, keep that in mind. If you need a weapon to go through people's builds and they keep spam building you, that is the weapon to do so. Can we make it three deaths, guys? Can we make it three deaths? Hi there, buddy. There we go. We got him. We got him. And guys, for all of you who have faithfully made it to the end of the video, I have a special surprise for you. A new video series is coming to the channel. I'm super excited about this. Alex, Cody, Andrew, me, and Hannah have all been working on it very hard. You know, the whole squad. And there's a third death. <laughs> it's going to be hilarious. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a whole video series. I'm super excited about it. We've built a creative map for it. We're and Now it's time to release it coming up here very soon, guys. I'm super psyched about it. So that's a little sneak peek coming for you guys. Make sure you, everybody does like and subscribe to the channel. And that has been all of your updates coming to March that I know of. And I'll see you guys next time.